What's up guys? Grim here. As if you didn't know that. If you left a comment in the last Saturday video, then you are entered into the drawing for five of the depleted supply crates. And also if you had left a post in the thread on the Rift forums where I was doing the giveaway, then you are entered into an additional one of the supply crates. And without further ado, let's do the drawing. And the winners are... Bam! How about a little bit of this? Bam! Right there. Forum winner. Right there. Congratulations, everybody. This week's giveaway is bigger than ever before. This week, we're giving away whatever you want from the Rift Store that is giftable. Yes, anything. Soul bundles, items, mounts, uh, the huge bag that you can get. Anything you want. The only restriction is that we can't do like the item bundles that are like the 50,000 credit uh, raid gear bundles. So let's try to keep it around the 5,000 or less credit mark because there are only a few items over 5,000 credits and they're like 50,000 credits. So let's not go to those ones. I want to give you guys stuff, but I don't want to get too carried away. And this is just the first of 10 weeks of anything you want giveaways. And all of this is generously donated by the guild Godlike Awesomeness. If you are not familiar with them, then they are the people that host and support the Godlike Arena tournaments that I usually commentate. Thank you so much Godlike Awesomeness, and if you guys want to be entered into this drawing then you need to leave your character name and server in the comment section below of course there is a catch to it you must be subscribed to this channel show me some love i show you some love yes that means that we're doing 10 weeks of these anything you want giveaways so make sure you're at least coming back for every saturday video so that you're entered into these giveaways and get amazing things good luck everybody Grabbing a bite to eat before we hit to the cars again. About to go into the stadium to watch the cars game. If you guys can see it. Go cars! Team isn't pulling it together. Looks like we're going home with the law. What's up, guys? Today we're going to go over a mage kind of tanky build, and it's made mostly for objectives. Uh, so to say, if you're going to be running stones, and you're not really going to be one of those guys that's in the in the middle of it all, killing people, getting he uh, heals and all that, you're mainly going to be objective running. So do not run this type of build if you're just going to be doing general PvP because you're going to be hated by your team and your entire enemy team is going to ignore you. However, if you are carrying a stone in Whitefall Steps, they cannot ignore you. They have to hit you because even if you are a tank. So this is the type of build for those kind of situations. It's also amazing if you're out doing dailies, uh, the PvP dailies, because you don't have to worry about anybody jumping you because you're just going to absolutely annihilate anybody that messes with you. Um, it's also really good for AOE uh, killing mobs. So if you're doing your dailies and you have to kill so many of these mobs and loot whatever off of them in order to accomplish your daily, this is going to be a great build for that. So use it for its good purposes. Don't use it for the bad ones. So let's get right into this build. 
we're going to pull up the soul tree here and i do have to say that the build and all of the macros will be in the description below so if you cannot see it on my screen feel free to refer to down there and we will have a nice link for you to be able to see all of the abilities and everything for your convenience and as you can see we went 61 into arbiter 11 into chloromancer and 4 into harbinger and this build was provided by a guildy of mine, which he mainly runs this build on his character Doom. So if you've seen Doom out on the war front, then he's probably running this spec and you probably don't want to hit him. So, alright, obviously fill up the whole 61 Arbiter tree and then we're going 11 into Chloromancer, which is 5 points into Accelerated Growth. One point into Bloom, two points into Healing Slipstream, three points into Empowered Veil, and that's all in the Chloromancer tree. And then over there into the Harbinger tree, we got four points, and those four is into Eldritch Knowledge. So that's your soul build right there. Like I said, we have a link in the description below if you need to refer to it down there. All right, let's get into the macros here. This build uses four macros, and this is your main spam right here, and I will have it in the description below, like I said. It's basically a spam button that will shield you up, it'll do a lot of damage, it'll heal you up as well. You're, this is a build that's gonna have you surviving like crazy, but you're also gonna be doing a pretty good amount of damage um, you'll see once you run it trust me you're not going to be taking out healers so to say it's not going to be like a DPS build where you're running around just smacking down people and paragon and healers down or anything like that but it is very good for killing individuals that don't have healers and stuff like that you're basically going to be picking on those people trust me all right then our second macro here which this is a macro that you use whenever you're uh, you got a target that's fighting you back and it's gonna make it to where a lot of the damage that he deals to you is gonna be healing you I instead kinda thing so here's our pull macro and we've got two pulls including the AOE pull so be careful which one you use. You might you might want to switch around the order of this if you want a, a single pull in first and then your AOE pull or if you want your AOE pull first, you know, just determine what you want to use first. We have it in this particular order. And then our AOE macro, this is what's going to allow you to go right in the middle of a ton of monsters and pull them all and they're never going to be able to kill you. It's just amazing. It heals you up the entire time. It, it AOEs everything down. You'll absolutely love it if you're doing dailies, trust me. Alright, that's our macros. And let's go into our buffs here. We got Ebb and Flow. Energized Vitality. Uh, a, how do you even say this? Aquaeus Blessing. I guess that's how you say it. Uh, Frosted Ward. Life Giving Veil. Eldritch Armor. And Lightning Blade. And another buff that you can put on instead is Arcane Ward, which I believe that uh, increases your defense some. So if you uh, want to replace that instead of Frosted Ward, if you feel like you just need to be a little bit more tanky, which usually isn't the problem, but if you feel like you need to be a little more tanky, you can of course put on Arcane Ward instead of Frosted Ward. Because Frosted Ward, of course, adds to your damage. All right, so let's go into the bar down here, the action bar. We got our spam button. We got our uh, Radiant Spore macro. We've got our AoE macro. And then we've got Entropic Veil, which increases your damage and healing done by 16%. It's a toggled ability, so you can turn it on and off as you need to, because while it's on, it's going to increase your damage and everything. But it does not allow you to build up charge. And as you know, as most of you probably know, you need charge on a mage but 
usually the big hitting abilities or toggle buffs like this it makes it to where you can't gain any more charge that's the way you use it up and then uh, then you have to turn it off and let your charge build back up kind of thing so next we have avalanche which is our charge as in like charging to the enemy you know I'm talking about charge uh, mage charges and that's not the same charge this is like a warrior charge here avalanche alright then we got our pull macro we got shield of the north wind which absorbs damage equal to a hundred percent of your maximum health so this is going to be a huge shield that you're going to put on whenever you're in trouble then we got soothing waters and this allows you to consume all of your charge and heal yourself up then we have break free on a separate macro yes separate macro people all right freezing gust which is our interrupt then we got crystallize what's this what this does is it causes damaging abilities to return 10 percent of the mage's mana and it blocks charge gain so what you want to do is you want to turn this on only whenever a dom gets on you or something if you see a dom that's draining your mana go ahead and turn this on whenever you need to and you'll be able to constantly gain mana and but you won't be able to build up charge that's the only bad thing so yeah turn that on if a dom gets on you and believe me they will not be able to drain you anymore and you're just gonna annihilate them so alright that's our uh, action bars and everything so let's get into how to play this so this right here is our dummy this is our person we're picking on we've got our buffs all up we got our big sword in hand as you can see and what we do is we basically keep moving and spam you know hit your target as much as possible it's going to do quite a bit of damage and as you can see I'm constantly healing up the entire time now while you're hitting somebody you want to make sure that you apply your second spam button that does your radiant spores and stuff so you hit that twice to apply your uh, radiant spores and withering vine and you continue to hit away and if we were taking any damage at all trust me we would be healing up by a lot right now so let's say that we are pulling lots of mobs let's go ahead and charge right in and spam macro bam 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 and all of this will be healing you if you're taking any kind of damage so trust me it's amazing like if you go to the infinity step uh, the infinity steps in order to do your pvp dailies and you pull all those bugs that's in the center area just pull every one of them just pull everything you can and just start aoe and just bam 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 you know it's going to just kill every bit of them you'll look like you never got hit it'll be amazing well okay say we built up quite a bit of charge up here if you can see like tw uh, 56 charge say we're wanting to increase our damage we can go ahead and toggle on our entropic veil and it'll start draining it but we are going to be doing a lot of damage here once your charge is all used up it'll automatically turn off your entropic veil so you can go back into building up your charge now other things that you need to do is pull people in if you want to be that person in a cq match or in a warfront that uh, pulls people in and lets you basically feed them to your team that's something that you need to do as well so you need to play this uh, spec for its good purposes such as pulls uh, objective taking stuff like that alright another thing that you can do is if you're taking a lot of damage and you're hitting this person well all of a sudden you start realizing that you're taking a lot of damage so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and pop your shield of the north that's going to put a huge shield on us BAM! You see how our whole health bar just lit up with that blue neon? That is an amazing shield right there. And it lasts for about 10 seconds or so, so make sure that you're taking damage and not popping it whenever nobody's hitting you. So, 
Another thing that you can do is once you've built up charge, you can use your soothing waters to heal yourself. You pop it, it'll consume your whole charge, and it'll heal you up. So there's a lot of survivability in this build. You just got to use it. You know, whenever you start taking damage, make sure that you apply your radiant spores and stuff on your targets. Um, and as soon as you start seeing you're getting hurt quite a bit, apply your shield of the north. And if you need to heal, use your soothing waters. Um, if a dom gets on you, use your crystallize. It's pretty easy. You know, this build is basically spamming the spam button. There's no finishers. There's nothing like that. It's just spam, spam, spam. Apply some radiant spores and stuff. And then, yeah, protect yourself after that. So, very easy build to play. It's uh, just use it for its purposes. I cannot stress that enough. Do not go out there and try to take on everybody playing a tank spec. You know, I know that's what you guys think a tank spec is meant for. It's meant for running in the middle of your enemies, taking all this damage. But no, no, don't use it for that purpose, guys. Don't do it. Because, yes, it can take a lot of hits. But if you're going to be in the middle of the enemies or trying to kill enemies or anything like that, run a DPS spec. Or, or be a healer or something like that because your enemies are going to start ignoring you and you're going to be useless on your team. So, unless you just are facing bad people that's going to uh, focus you the entire game. But that's that's just hoping right there. You know, most, most of the people are not going to start hitting you anymore. They might hit you if you're the last one standing or if you're trying to do an objective or something like that. But, no, they... Most of the enemy team is going to ignore you if you're a tank. So half of your, even if half of the enemy team is hitting you, the other half has started ignoring you. So half of your efficiency has went away. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. And as usual, my name is Grim. And, oh, if you want to, uh, just if you're just joining Rift. Make sure that you use my referral link below. You get items, you get put on my friends list, all kinds of good stuff will come to you. And also I get some rewards too. So if you're just making your account, be sure to go down to the referral link. And also if you're looking for a guild, we have a guild on Wolfsbane US server, which is Grimm's Reapers. And you can find us in the guild finder, but just join to be in a casual PvP guild. Don't join if you're specifically just wanting to play with me and stuff because I take some days off. There's sometimes I'm not on for two days or something. So make sure you're joining just to be with a, a guild that's not going to chew you out if you do bad or something like that. It's, you know, it's not that type of guild. It's a very casual guild and we're all very friendly. So, yeah. We, we'd love to have you. And we especially need healers and people that's willing to form up Warfront groups. It seems like our guys are kind of on the back seat about for, uh, forming up groups. And we need more people forming up groups. So, Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time.